A college education could be financed. Mercer County Community College graduates can now earn a bachelor's degree at the state's largest private university at a 40% discount. Fairleigh Dickinson University's already formed dual admissions partnerships with five other community colleges. Here's how it works. First-time college students who are admitted to FDU can choose to first get an associate's degree from a community college, then get a bachelor's at FDU. In addition to the 40% cut in tuition, Honor Society students with top grades get a further discount and housing grants. Now to Rutgers University, where each time the Scarlet Knights score a touchdown, a subatomic boom rattles the stadium. Here's why. Rutgers was named after Henry Rutgers, a colonel in, a colonel in General Washington's artillery, expert in firing cannons in the general direction of redcoats and hessians. Nowadays, Henry, in the person of Revolutionary War reenactor Jack Nelson, triggers blank charges in the end zone. Here's NJ Advanced Media for NJ.com's Andre Malik. If you've been to a Rutgers home football game, it's hard to ignore these guys. They are, without question, the loudest fans around. This is Jack Nelson, portraying Henry Rutgers, a colonel in General Washington's artillery and early benefactor and namesake of Rutgers University. Jack leads this regiment of Revolutionary War reenactors who fire after every Rutgers score. We've been doing it since the late 70s. And we do it because it's fun, because it reminds people that Middlesex County was a hotbed of uh, insurrection, shall we say, and it brings a tradition to the school. Part of that tradition starts in the Scarlet Lodge just outside the stadium. Jack takes a lap before game time. He's a fan favorite out here, often stopping to have a chat or take a photo with the throngs of tailgaters. Hey, baby. <laughs> Gentlemen, ladies, ladies. I want to wear you out today, shooting that cabin. You betcha. You're a goddamn patriot. That when they come up and they say, ah, look at the pirate, or see the pirate. And I try to tell them exactly what I'm doing and who I'm doing it for and why. And they usually take it with very good grace and happiness because somebody stopped and talked to them. It works. Of course, the firing of the cannon has historic significance, but it's all about the game. The touchdown and then the point after. Field goals, safeties. That's basically, whenever the director scores, we fire. get excited for the cannon. It's nice and loud, little psychological warfare from the fans behind us. So everything is real good and it just takes it to the next step. Live! Safety is the number one concern for this artillery group. They fire a blank charge of black powder. There's no projectile, but a blast can generate a 40 foot flame. In all the time we've been shooting, nobody has been hurt. And there have been, in the Midwest, accidents with people who didn't know what they were doing. Jack has been at this for more than 35 years now, which begs the question, how much longer? Until I am no longer safe. When I, de when I decide that I can't do it anymore, I'm going to turn it over to somebody else. My name is Jack Nelson. I work at the Rutgers Cannon, and we keep people off the field. The Scarlet Knights face the Maryland Terrapins on Saturday. We'll see how many times that cannon gets fired. Tomorrow on NJTV News, it's Black Friday, the perfect kickoff to Small Business Saturday. And Bonnie and Clyde, they're back and they're bad. I'm Mary Alice Williams. For all the men and women of NJTV News, happy Thanksgiving.
New Jersey manufacturers, auto insurance, and more for New Jersey Business and Industry Association members and their employees. PSE&G, serving customers, strengthening the business community, and investing in New Jersey's future. And the members of the New Jersey Education Association, making public schools great for every child. NJBIA's Public Policy Forum presents People Policy Power at the National Conference Center on December 8th. Event registration at njbia.org.